Hey guys, welcome to episode 6 of Pokemon Generation 1. Last we left off, we took down the Peter City Gym Leader Brock, and we're heading out to Mount Moon. We already cleared up a few of the trainers last episode, so not too many battles this time around. We should be able to make it at least to the cave entrance by the time we end the video. Anyway, with pretty much everything I wanted to discuss so far out of the way, we can focus on the battles themselves. Although, let's be honest, there isn't too terribly much to say. Just a bunch of rats and birds, no big deal, really. Critical hit! Fuck yeah! The Iran Male, like I said before, level it up to 16 and then use the Moonstone, evolve it straight into Nino King. Because Nino Reno doesn't really learn too terribly much in comparison to Nino King. Two criticals within a minute and a half. Is anyone keeping count of how many critical hits I'm getting? Because this is getting ridiculous. Usually, it's the enemy that gets criticals all the time in a Pokemon Let's Play. Here, I'm getting them left and right. I don't know how the hell that's happening. I mean, yeah, probably because I have Pikachu up front since critical hits were based around speed. But either way... Kakuna! It looks semi-intimidating in this sprite, but outside of this sprite, it looks pretty shitty. Pretty much because it can't do shit outside of Harden. In fact, the anime made fun of that as well. Metapod versus Metapod. Harden. 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 And that's all they could freaking do. Oh, I remember that well. And paralysis. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm kind of surprised it didn't do that much, considering Pikachu has pretty horrible defense. Metapod. All it can do is harden, so it's basically free experience. Quidala Demonstrata. so many criticals so far and we're not even like 10% of the way done this is kind of ridiculous more like if you leveled your Pokemon up at least one more level and or evolved all of them idiot I can but do I want to well I kind of have to uh, we've level 11 this thing should be a butterfree! I mean, seriously, why do you guys B button cancel your fucking evolutions? It makes no sense. And Metapod, which basically means free experience. Again, this should have been a butterfree! Harden, as usual. But it doesn't matter because since Thundershock is an electric type move, it's considered special. There are seven special type attacks in Generation 1 and second generation gave us another one. Fire, Water, Grass, Electric, Ice, Psychic, and Dragon are all special. As is Dark in Generation 2, the rest are all physical up until Generation 4, which gave us the physical special split. This should be the final trainer on the way to Mount Moon.
Anyway, Jigglypuff, high HP, crap defense. All right offensively, though. Case in point. Oh, thank God, Sing. That move has a chance of putting you to sleep. And there it goes. Time to involuntarily demonstrate sleep after we heal. God, Pikachu, why does your defense suck? Oh my god, Pikachu, seriously, your defense is terrible. I really hope we wake up on this exact turn. Damn it, I don't want to burn through all my potions. Hold on, how close is he to leveling up? 344, so he kind of needs this fight. Yeah, I'm burning through all my potions in this battle. Holy crap. I'll have to buy some more off screen. Disable! Disable's a random move. But you can only disable one move at a time. In Generation 2 onward, I think. If I'm incorrect, something will appear on screen. But yeah, Generation 2 onward... Disable would disable the move last used by the opponent, making it slightly more useful, but only slightly. But there is still a little bit of stuff I want to do in terms of leveling real quick, so... Let's get Pikachu to learn quick attack, shall we? Level 6 Pidgey's at this point in the game? Ha! That's pathetic. Wow! Unnecessary critical hit! Alright, I think either one, two, or three more battles, and... Oh, hey, Spiro! Now, I would catch this thing as a temporary fly user, but there's something I will catch later on. That's pretty much right next to where I get fly, so no need to worry there. Alright, Pikachu, you know what to do. That should be it! Finally, quick attack! And I know because I had to look it up earlier. Anyway... Checking Squirtle real quick to see how close he is to a level up. This shouldn't take too long. Because there's one last thing I want to do. And who do we run into? Uh, Pidgey. Nah. Level 8. That actually might be good enough to at least get over halfway. But we'll see. I thought for a second I critical, but no. Yep, one more battle should do it. Now if one would actually show up, that'd be nice. Thank you. And a Jigglypuff! Fairly rare to run into these things here. Jigglypuff is another Pokemon who evolves through the Moonstone into Wigglytuff, who is the more offensive of the two, as opposed to Clefable, who is more defensive. But it's time for our first Pokemon evolution! Squirtle evolved into Wartortle. Awesome. But yeah, finally an evolution on camera. How about that? But with that, since I'm running out of time, I'm going to heal up here. Save. And in the next episode of Pokemon Generation 1, we are going to trek through Mount Moon, or at least get partway through Mount Moon due to my limited recording time. So, until next time. Later, guys.